Hi everybody, I'm Shannon Banana. And I'm Benny Boss. And I'm Gracie Grape. Dare to dream a while. We're entering a magic world of fairy tales and smiles. Princesses and kings, unicorns and golden rings. Trolls with twitches and other fascinating things. Well, you know all the stories. Let's do a little twist, okay? What if your favorite characters went bananas <laughs> today? Yeah. You guys ready? Come on, they talk. to tell a whole bunch of fairy tales from around the world. The first one is called Cinderella. Our first fairy tale comes from France, Germany, and China, and it's called Cinderella. But what's going to happen that's gonna make things go bananas? Hmm. 
Once upon a time, there was a beautiful maiden. She was very happy with her father living in the countryside until her father married an evil stepmother. He <laughs> was very jealous of that pretty Cinderella. You are going to become my slave. Yes, you are. You don't get that smile off your face. I want you to scrub the floors and clean the windows and work and work and work. Ha, ha, ha. Never again shall you know fine things. <laughs> oh, what is this? A, 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 a proclamation is coming from the prince. We're invited to a, a grand ball with dancing and fancy gowns. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to keep getting excited about Cinderella. You can't go. You have to stay here. Work. Work. Work, I say. Work. I'm off to the ball. <laughs> Cinderella was beside herself until along came her fairy godmother. Hello, Cinderella. I am your fairy godmother, and I am here to help you. I will turn you into a beautiful princess. Bibbidi, Bobbidi, You guys know what that feels? Oh, smart, smart thinking, Cinderella. Wear a mask, protect yourself and others when there's a possibility of the Achoo Blues being around. And when you when you sneeze, of course, you know, never sneeze in your hands, right? Mm -mm. No, don't sneeze on somebody else. No, that's what elbows are for. Let's try that. We're just gonna hold our elbow up like this. Pig number two and pig number three. 
Once upon a time, three little pigs lived with their mommy, but they had gotten bigger, and mommy said that it was time for them to strike off on their own, build their own homes, and live their own lives. Little pigs, little pigs, little pigs, you are now all grown. I'm going to give you all some money so you can buy some materials to build your own homes and let mommy stay home and be a yoga teacher. Now, it's very important that you are very wary and careful to avoid the big bad wolf. Do you understand? All right, then I love you all. Goodbye, namaste. So the pigs gathered their materials and they carefully built their homes and they got all settled in. The first little pig built a home of straw. The second little pig right next door built a home of sticks. And the third little pig built a very sturdy home of bricks. And sure enough, one day, okay, big dad wolf. Yeah, I'm gonna go visit some pigs. I can smell them again. Okay, I'm gonna go over here first. Ah, this little straw house, that ought to be easy. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of my chin, chin, chin. What? Well, when I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna whoa, or how big? made of sticks and the wolf came running after him and knocked on that house. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of our chin chin chin. Oh, oh and I'm gonna huff and I'm gonna puff and I'm gonna <laughs> That house was destroyed and that pig went and ran off to be with the, the one in the house made of brick. Well, now I got three pigs all in one place. They don't even know what's coming to them. <laughs> three little pigs, three little pigs, let me in. Not, Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna huff, I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna Our next fairy tale comes from the magical land of Japan, and it's called Momotaro, the Peach Boy. Hajimimashite, watashi wa obasan. I am grandma, and I am here in front of a rushing river doing my laundry. Please, please join me. Uh, what you want to do is grab that piece of dirty underwear, and then you want to dunk it in the river, psh, 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 and out all the water, and then we'll dunk it again. Psh, psh, psh. Very good. Now you're going to want to flick it in the wind and set it aside. Please help me with another piece of laundry. Let's pick up another piece. 
piece of dirty underwear and dunk it in the river. Now squeeze out all the water and dunk it again. And flick it in the wind. You're very good at this. Anyway, one day I was cleaning all this laundry in front of the river when what should happen but a ginormous peach rolled down the river and stopped right in front of me. Oh, okay. Kodomo! A giant boy popped out of the peach. Onamaiwa, what is your name? You don't know your name? Oh, well, look how strong you are. My goodness, Okidesio! Big, big muscles. I am going to call you Momotaro, the peach boy. Momotaro, will you come and allow me to take care of you, for you have no parents? Ah, oh, do come, do come. Momotaro, here, come, come. You, you stand here now. You must get strong, so let's let's eat. Here's Gohan, have some rice, yes, and some soup. Drink some soup. Go <gasps> This village has been dreaming of, you see, Momotaro, there is a evil, awful dragon prince that lives across the other side of the field. And he wants to terrorize us. We're all very afraid of him, and he must be destroyed. I needed someone like you to lead the charge. Find that evil dragon prince. What do you say? Are you... Oh, Momotaro, thank you. Here, you must take a sword in order to defeat this dragon prince. And if you're ready to go, say Ikimashō! Ikimashō! Let us go forward and defeat the evil dragon prince. Here we go, everybody. Looking out now, we need animals to join us. Ah, will you join us? I need you to be a cat, yes. And you need to be a dog, yes, thank you. Everyone, please pick an animal and help us on our mission. We must look far and wide until we find the evil dragon prince. Is it you? No, 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 not you. Is it you? Oh. oh. <gasps> you. Momotaro, go and capture the evil dragon princess and bring her before me. I may look like a mild man in Obasan, but I've waited my whole life for this moment. Evil dragon princess. You're not as stinky as I thought you would be. You don't have fire coming out of your mouth, and you're actually quite pretty, but I know who you really are. Don't let down your guard, for you are the one who's been terrorizing my village. No, I'm not. Of course you are. I just want to plant flowers. Yes, I told you she just wants to plant flowers. Oh, wait a minute. Then why are you always telling us to stop and, and, and don't enter fairy tale land and, 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 and make all those ferocious noises? No one likes me. Oh, oh, Momotaro, put down your sword. Oh, better yet, give me that sword. Oh, I'm so sorry, little dragon princess. We've made a terrible, terrible mistake. We've done what people have been doing to other people and other beings for, unfortunately, for millennia. We are judging you just because you look a little bit different than we do. Oh, 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 I am so sorry. Will you forgive me? In fact, even better than that, I want you to be my guest of honor as I tell you a lovely story. Please, please. Have a seat, my beautiful friend, the not evil dragon princess. You see, my mother used to tell me a story about a little black beetle. And this black beetle lived in a tree with his mom. The black beetle was a very sad beetle. You know why? Because he was just a plain black beetle. He didn't have colors and stripes all over his body like the other beetles did, and he felt so bad. But his mom wanted to make him feel better. So she used to sing him a song. You can sing it with me if you like. It goes like this. 
and swooped down, picked him up, and carried him away. Ah! You know, Boris barely got away with his life. Black Beetle was spared because he was so well camouflaged. Boris felt so bad that he sang, Black Beetle, Black Beetle, what you doing feeling so blue? Black Beetle, Black Beetle, I wouldn't be sad if I were because it doesn't matter if you're black or brown Or if you have colors all around What matters is that you're beautiful Just the way that you are You guys and you are stars The end comes from the tiny island of Grenada in the Caribbean. It's a small and beautiful place with very big legends. In fact, this next one is about a man named Papa Mango, and I invite you to sing along and follow the hand motions with me as we explore the mystery of Papa Mango. Join 
me now. Ready? Pop a mango. Pop a mango. Pop a mango. Pop a mango. It was up in a roar. Yeah. And he sure looked mad. He sure looked sore. Why did you wake me? But the legend was true. Hello, the next fairy tale comes from deep in the Florida Everglades. In fact, you can see I'm wearing a very special skirt from the Seminole tribe of Florida. The Seminole and Miccosukee tribes are the only two native tribes to the state of Florida, and they have a rich history of fairy tales and legends. This is one of my favorites. It explains why the dog and the alligator don't get along. You see, once, a long, long, long time ago, alligators and dogs did get along. In fact, they were great friends and they could talk to each other, just like you and I can talk to each other. So one day, alligator was boasting. Boasting means he was bragging and talking about how great he was. There was one thing in particular alligator loved about himself, and that was his fabulous nose. The alligator back then had the same nose that the dog has today. And the dog back then has the same nose that the alligator has today. Hmm. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm going to tell you something, you guys. I have the best nose in the world. That's right. It is so great. I can smell up and down and side to side, around, around. Oh!
Duh. Okay, but I think I want my nose back when you come back, so please don't be long. No problem. I'm sure that you are going to smell the moon any minute now. I'll be right back. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Uh-oh. Do you think Hal has any intention of coming back? Well, Alligator still trusted him, so he hung out and kept trying to smell the moon. Duh, duh. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe his nose is congested. Dog, you coming back? Man, you sure take a long time to use the bathroom. Yeesh. Alligators don't take that long. Huh. I don't think this nose is as good as mine. Alligator waited an hour. Gee, I hope I hope dog's okay. Dog, you okay? Should I come looking for you? Well, ah, he told me to wait here, so. He waited a day. Uh I, I don't know where dog is. He waited a week. Um I, I, I'm not feeling good about this situation right now. He waited a month and he started to get mad. I don't think dog meant to come back. What? I think he must have tricked me. He waited a whole year and by then Alligator was so mad. If I ever see that dog again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, he's gonna get it. Well, Dog, in the meantime, had forgotten about anything but how wonderful his brand new nose was. And he was, oh, telling everybody about it, bragging and boasting. Hey, everybody, see how great my nose is? Look, you can smell up and down and side to side, around. And sure enough, he was walking around bragging when he happened to run into... <gasps> and that's why today, in Florida and everywhere, alligators try to eat dogs. The end. Arr, mateys, my name is Pirate Scooter Doo! Ha 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 ha! There once was a pirate, brave and strong, who sailed the high, high seas. Her name was Pirate Scooter Doo, and she really loved to read. She sailed to the east, everybody say east! And she sailed to the west, say W! W! Good! And she sailed to the north, give me an N! That's right! And she sailed to the south, give me an S! Let's do it, you scalawags. Ready? Yo, ho, yo, ho, pirate scooter. 
do. Arr, yo, ho, yo, ho, pirate scooter do. Arr, yo, ho, yo, ho, pirate scooter do. Arr, yo, ho, yo, ho, pirate scooter do. Arr, you guys rock for reading. It's been great to share all these fairy tales with you today from all over the world. But you know, we just scratched the surface. There are so many more fairy tales, so many more stories, and you know where to find them, right? At the library. In fact, my mom took me to the library when I was about two years old. There was a librarian there. Her name was Mrs. Norris, and she wanted us to be very, very quiet. But of course, I'm like you. I love to read, even at two years old. And when I looked around and saw all those books, I got so excited! Woo! Oh, oh. Thanks. That's exactly what Mrs. Norris said. She said, shh. So I invite you guys to sing this song with me. But if I happen to go a little bit, you know, bananas for reading and get too I'm counting on you to be my Mrs. Norris and say, shh, thank you. You guys ready? Here's how the song goes. Let's all go to the library. Thank 
you, library. We love you. Well, we've come to the end of our show for today. I've had such a wonderful time going bananas with you. And it's hard to say goodbye. In fact, sometimes it makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> it's like a sad goodbye. <laughs> I just talk amongst yourself. <laughs> no, I don't want to say goodbye like that. We had too much fun. And I know we'll see each other again soon. So maybe we should be mad. Goodbye. No, that doesn't work either, does it? Hmm, we could try to do like a whatever goodbye, you know, like whatever, okay, goodbye, whatever. But that doesn't seem to capture the spirit of going bananas either. So let's do a silly goodbye. Are you ready? Come join me, dance and sing along. Go back.